It's Michelle. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? She's Honey Bunny and I'm an imaginary Asian CPA? Oh, hey guys. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I cleared my skin to be the bright and wonderful skin it is right now. Yeah, get into it! From the tragic specimen it was about a year ago. About a year ago. So before we get into that, let me start by saying uh, I've had acne since I was 13, 14. I know I had it throughout high school and in my 20s, um, throughout my 20s. It's been very up and down, but it's never been like clear. So I finally figured out how to actually get it clear, clear, like how it is right now. No bumps. It's good. We're good. We're good. A lot of people told me, a lot of people had a lot of suggestions eat better, drink more water, take these vitamins, don't wear makeup, blah, blah, blah. But I took multivitamins throughout high school every day. I drank water every day and I didn't wear makeup. I was definitely not wearing makeup in middle school. So the things had nothing to do with it. It was just hormones and genetics and other or unforeseen issues I don't know but I went to many dermatologists they gave me topical treatments I think at one point I had an oral medicine I had to take every day it was not Accutane but I don't remember what it was but it was something oral and I think it had steroids in it or something I don't know but I took that for a while it didn't really help and it like calmed it down but it didn't fix it my skin wasn't clear like I had so many friends who just had clear skin I'm like how, did, how the hell do you get clear skin? I just don't get clear. I, like I wasn't doing anything. I just, I've always had oily skin, which is actually good to help prevent wrinkles. So I'm, I'm okay with that now, but I did get made fun of it for having oily skin in school. But now I'm, I'm cool with it. It prevents wrinkles, so whatever. I'll get cystic ac acne and I'll get hormonal acne, which I still get, but I'll also get, um, I don't know what the other ones call it, where it's like just on top of the skin. And I know the cystic ac acne is under the skin. I would get both, like on top of my skin and under my skin. Like I could, I would be able to feel the bumps under my skin when I was washing my face, like waiting to come out and just ruin my day. Um, and also I would get the, they would just, sometimes they would just show up in the middle of the night. I'll wake up, there'd be another one. And now I don't have any of those issues anymore and I'm so happy. And I did it by myself. Like, I, no doctor helped me. Uh, so I don't have to waste any more money at the dermatologist. I didn't pay for expensive treatments or medicine or no any, any of that stuff anymore. Um, no more experimenting with drugstore products, buying all that drugstore stuff. Don't do that anymore. So yeah, I finally found something that works for me, that is working for me. And I'm going to share that with you today. Um, I wanted, I didn't want this video to be a voiceover, but yesterday was a long night. Um, I didn't go to bed till 3 a.m. So I didn't get up and wash my face till 3 a.m. What? What the fuck? Yeah, so I, I didn't feel like talking at 3 a.m. I just wanted to wash my face, but I did show you what I did, what I used, etc. So that's why I'm doing this intro now. So. Uh, what else did I want to say? It was a bunch of other stuff I wanted to say. I didn't write anything down. It was just stuff I thought about. I'm like, man, I, I should really say that. But I didn't write anything down because something's wrong with me. Didn't wear makeup in school. Not really. I did like lip gloss and maybe mascara. But I really didn't wear foundation or anything like that. Because I felt like it would make my skin more oily and make the acne worse. But actually my skin got better after I started wearing makeup, to be honest. Like, so many people were telling me like, Oh, it's the makeup, and especially older women, they like telling you that. Like, don't wear the makeup, then, never. Like, no. It wasn't the makeup, because my skin was way worse before I started wearing makeup, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, it's, it 
it got better after I started wearing makeup and as I got a little bit older, but it still wasn't clear. And now it's actually clear. I never thought I would see the day where my skin would actually be clear. I thought I would be 50 with wrinkles and acne, honestly, and I would be so pissed. I was going to be so pissed. <sighs> but yeah, um, it was a struggle. It was a struggle until I finally figured out what to do. So. As I mentioned, I don't use, uh, I don't really have to use spot treatments anymore. Um, not really. I do, what I used to use all the time was this Clean and Clear Persia Gel uh, with benzoyl peroxide, 10%, max strength. I used to use this all the time. I got it from Walmart for like five, six dollars. Um, and that was like my go-to because it would clear up the bumps like overnight, kind of clear up the bumps. Um, because it's max strength, so it's kind of just like make them go away overnight, almost. But it will leave scars. Um, and also the bumps will come back, like, within the next couple of days or so. So it was like, truly just a spot treatment. Like, it, they would come back. It wasn't really helping. But, um, I've had this subscription, subscription for a long time. Curology. I'm sure you've seen the ads all over the place. They fucking invading YouTube of course everybody's getting fucking sponsored by it but I'm not sponsored by them and also I don't use it often I have three bottles of this sitting on my counter because that's how little I use it and I've had this subscription for I think I renewed it maybe eight months ago Something like that. Six to eight months ago, I renewed my subscription. Um, I had I used it before for like a couple of months. Didn't really help me. I canceled it. Um, after my skin cleared, after I did what I did in the video, let me show you what I did. Uh, and my skin cleared, I said maybe I should get that because I wasn't sure if my skin was going to stay clear. So I was like, maybe I should get that as a backup because maybe my skin was so bad before that it was too bad for the curology. If that makes sense that's what I thought so anyway I renewed this started getting this again and I really haven't had to use it I only use it um, during my monthly period pretty much because I still get hormonal breakouts which they're not even breakouts anymore I get like one or two bumps and then I put the curology on it and they're gone by the next day and no no scars are left behind so that's why I started using this instead of this but I do not put this all over my face like you're instructed to. I kind of just use it as a spot treatment because I don't need to put it all over my face. And as I've seen with other acne treatments and stuff, they dry out your face. So I wasn't sure if this was going to dry out my skin. And if anything dries out your skin, it's going to cause wrinkles. And I don't want to deal with that. So, yeah. That's why in the video, also you're going to see I moisturized my skin a lot. Um... And I use oil as well on my skin, on top of the moisturize, moisturizers. So I would use whatever and just to dry out the bumps and that would dry out your skin and that can cause fine lines and wrinkles. Glad I stopped that before it got bad and before I got like permanent wrinkles and stuff. But I did notice like a bunch of moisturizers and stuff have salicylic acid in it. And that's one thing I cannot use because that will dry out my skin like crazy, causes hyperpigmentation on my skin, stuff like that. Because a lot of people were like telling me to use that and that was a bad idea for me. For me, it was a very bad idea. Um, so that's why I was using the benzoyl peroxide and I will, and I refuse to use anything with salicylic acid in it ever again because it messes up my skin more than the acne did. But yeah. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I did to clear my skin. And honestly, my skin cleared up. Once I started doing this, my skin cleared up within the first week or two. And that's why I couldn't believe it. Like, I was so sure that the acne was going to come back because it cleared up so fast and it stayed. And it was, it was just done. Like, it didn't come back the next day or anything. I was like, okay, this, like, it's going to come back. And when it didn't, I was so surprised. I'm so surprised. Like, it's been like a year and I'm still doing the same thing and it hasn't come back. 
and that's yeah and I haven't had to go to a doctor or anything like that about it when I did go to doctors they gave one doctor gave me fucking what did he give me calamine lotion to go on top of my skin that and I had to pay like a hundred dollars for that for calamine lotion something I could have gone to the store and got and paid like five dollars for gotcha bitch so yeah yeah I'm glad I figured it out for myself it works for me um, obviously you still need to drink water uh, eat healthy eat fruits and vegetables uh, every day you know make sure you're detoxing your body by drinking water and eating fruits and vegetables and you know taking your vitamins all that stuff uh, yeah, and it just sucked because I had three brothers and none of them had the issues that I was having so I'm like, okay, so obviously it's not just hereditary because They would get bumps here and there, but it was nothing like I was getting and it was ridiculous. I'm like, why the hell? Like I understand hormones and stuff. I'm a woman Etc. They have it. They change. They flip. They flop Whatever, but it was ridiculous. And as you can see, it went from a drastic change from what the pictures I'm going to show you and from how my skin looks now. I hope you guys can really see it in the video because like I said, it was 3 a.m. I did not feel like setting up lights and stuff, so you got the bathroom lights. That That's what we had to work with at 3 a.m. today. So I hope you can see my skin and how much better it looks i hope you enjoy thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know if this helps you if this works for you so yeah i think that's about it so, that's it hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye You guys are still here? Come on, watch the video of me washing my face. I'll explain everything, I swear. I swear. Bye. All right, before we do anything, we first wash our hands with soap and water. And then I take my contacts out before I remove my makeup. And then I use this cold cream, this Pond's cold cream to remove my makeup, the initial makeup. I used to use a an oil, the Neutrogena oil cleanser and that was really good. It would pretty much melt the makeup off my face and then like cleanse my skin. That was really good, but I can't find it anymore for some reason. So I'm trying this now and I just picked this up from Walmart for like five bucks. Um, I just wanted to give it a try. Uh, I don't know. I figured it might be pretty good. I just know that people used to use cold cream back, back in the day to remove makeup. So I figured I'd give it a shot. I mean, they had some pretty good ideas back then, but I mean, not a lot, but they had some. So this is pretty good. So far it's been working pretty well, but it doesn't actually remove the makeup. It just kind of like dissolves it a little bit and then like, you know, helps it, helps to make it easier to remove later. It does make quite a mess though in my sink and stuff. So yeah. So anyway, next I'm using the micellar water and that's my face. See, I just kind of broke it down a little bit and then like spread it around and then I go in with the micellar water and a cotton round and I'm just first going in with on my eyes and kind of just wiping all the makeup away and the cold cream made it so I could just wipe the makeup off pretty much where I don't really have to scrub or anything just making sure all the makeup is wiped away from my eyes and stuff and my face and like all those different areas where they can get stuck and typically I just use one cotton round and then go all over my face front and back with that cotton round and that gets everything off usually 
because we don't like the way I don't like the way it's cotton round. I don't I don't know. I think one is enough. I don't need two or three. One is enough. So next I'm going in with the Aveeno. And this is like oat and honey uh cleanser. But really I usually just use whatever mild cleanser. Lately I've just been using that just because it's a really mild cleanser. Um, I've been trying to stick to that and nothing harsh or anything that would dry out my skin um, cause I'm trying to stay away from that stuff so I'm trying to stick with something that's like moisturizing or very mild so I'm using that and again Walmart like five bucks so this is like something I've been using a lot of and it's the Aveeno positively radiant daily scrub and this stuff is really good I like it I've been getting multiple refills of this stuff so I think I'm going to keep using it it has very small uh I guess would you call micro beads in them to scrub your face and it's not abrasive at all really but it does clean your skin without over drying it so I really like that so I think I'm going to continue to use this and just kind of go all over my face with that and I use this scrubby twice a day. So in the morning when I wake up, I just use that to wash my face. I don't use this in the morning. Like if I don't wear makeup, I don't use the Clear Sonic. But if I wear makeup, I'm using the Clear Sonic. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm using the Clear Sonic with the exfoliating scrub. I'm just going all over my face with that. I'm not really putting any pressure on it. Just kind of letting it go with my skin. Just go with the flow. And just get all that dirt and makeup and everything out of my skin. And this is the one. I think this is like the biggest change I made. Was using this daily when I wear makeup. Um, before I was not doing this. And there was a huge difference where in the negative a negative difference but now there's a positive difference because i'm using this scrubby every time i use every time i wear makeup i'm using this to get my skin clean and before i was not doing that i thought that washing with my hands was just enough it was not enough no matter how many times i wash my face it was not enough because it was not going deep enough but anyway, this is the Mia 2, I believe, and I got it from Ulta some years ago. I got it a while ago, like five plus years ago, maybe, and I did not pay full price for this thing because there's no way in hell, but because I think it was like $200 or something, I was not paying that. But anyway, I used all my points and I got this from Ulta some years ago, and they don't even sell brush heads for it anymore, so I buy them off Amazon. They're like generic ones for like 20 bucks and I get the the sensitive heads so anyway I'm going in again with that same exfoliating clean cream because as you saw on the brush head there was still some makeup residue left on the brush head that's what I was showing you so now I'm going back in with the cleanser to get any residue that was left on my skin off and that would be the final cleanse so I end up washing my face three times after removing make the makeup with the initial uh, Pond's cold cream. And I'm just rinsing my skin with barely warm water. You don't want hot water because that causes wrinkles, of course, and irritation. You want barely warm or cold water. I use barely warm. And then you pat your skin dry with a soft towel. And that's what I did, a soft clean towel, clean. And this is my bare naked skin, no makeup or anything on it, no moisturizer or anything, just my skin. And I'm happy with the way it looks right now. Very satisfied. I even leave the house without makeup now, which is nice. Before I would, but I would be very nervous and self-conscious about it, but you know. So now I'm just going in with an eye cream. And I'm kind of just patting that under my eyes. I'm not really showing what this one is because it was the bottle is almost done and I'm not gonna get another bottle of it. So it was no point. Um it was okay, but I like switching out eye creams as well, given trying out different ones. 
So right now I am using the Shea Moisture Raw, raw Shea Butter Moisturizer for my nighttime moisturizer because it's very thick. And before I wouldn't have even thought to switch out my moisturizers because I would be afraid that my skin would break out because my skin would break out whenever I tried anything new or different or whatever. If you looked at it wrong, it would break out. But since I've been doing what I've been doing, I have not had issues with random breakouts. So I've been trying different moisturizers and I have had no issues and everything's going well. So I've been using this raw shea butter moisturizer and it's really good. It's very thick. Even after washing my face though, my face was not very, very dry. Even after washing my face three times, it wasn't insanely dry or anything. It was just, it was still pretty moisturized because of the stuff I used. So next I'm going in with some Marajuka oil from Tarte. And this is the original one. I've had this for a while. It's not that new one that everybody's complaining about with the scent. I don't know why they would add a scent to it. But this is the original one. I just had this bottle for a while. I use like one drop every night. And I put that on my face, under my eyes, and like any areas I feel need extra care. And I kind of just smooth that in. But yeah, one drop of oil goes a very, very long way. And with the routine I've been doing, even my dark spots have been disappearing. It took a very long time, but the dark spots are finally like going away. So I'm really happy about that as well. But my main focus was definitely the bumps. Um, yeah, because I can cover spots. I can't really cover bumps. So next we're going to go in with some moisturizer for your lips. And I use Carmex at night. In the daytime I use chapstick. At night I use Carmex. I don't know. I just do. But this is the Curology. And... Like I said, I don't really use it that often. I didn't use it that night. Um, I didn't need to, but if I did, I would have put that on before moisturizing my skin. Um, but yeah, I didn't need it. So the last step is to clean out that sink. Cause like I said, that cold cream leaves a mess in the sink and all that makeup that was on my face is in the sink. So you gotta clean that sink. Plus you just, you should want to clean your sink every night anyway after, you know, washing your face. But yeah. So that is my nighttime routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video to help somebody out because we all need and want clear skin, especially for the holidays. Like help your fellow man out, man and woman and whoever. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.